Hello, and welcome to Let's Play of Walking Dead Road to Survive. I have been watching Walking Dead, and I had this game on my phone, so I was like, I might as well play it. Just downloaded the uh, data for the game, and from the right, okay, I'm bad for the names, but that's Jesus. He's um, from the hilltop. There's that dude with the face, um, I forgot his name, but he's from the Saviors. Uh, the dude with the gun, he looks kind of like Rick, but, well Rick has a grey beard, um, but everything else kind of suits him, but I'm not 100% sure if it's him, so I don't know who he is. Then it's Negan, head of the Saviors, then behind him, the dude with the dreads and the grey beard, who actually has a grey beard in the TV show, is Ezekiel, King Ezekiel. Then there's this tiger, that I forgot the name of. Then that looks like Michonne, but she looks different as well. Um, anyway, well, let's continue. Glenn. Oh, hey, Mickey. I've got walkers over here. Okay, we can't be a big fan. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. So I can turn back to the Now I've got another couple of saviors. They're going to be a stiffer test than the walkers have Rick. Rick is missing a hand. He's not missing a hand in the show. Okay. Group of saviors down, but a large group led by Negan surrounds him. Not how it happened in the show. And this happened in the show, but not exactly the way it said it said. So we should have the boys trying to do a thing. How did we get here? More than a year earlier, a group of saviors survivors found their way to the gates of town called Woodbury. Okay, that happened before they met the saviors. And it was a bit different because they didn't. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I didn't know what I said. Philip Blake. Thanks, Tex, and then the name's Philip Blake. Garrett. The least we could do. Just last week, me, Darius, and a few others were the ones knocking on the door. Hmm. Need to make a supply run. Major Gavin will show you how things work around here. I don't catch your name though. I'm gonna go with Kira. Yes. There we go. Confirm. Kira. I accidentally hit a space at the end of my name. Oh well. Yes, see the on supply run, but you need more people. Go to town and round up some good recruits. Recruits and rewards. Okay, open. Oh dear, do not enter. Car. Uh, time to sell up shepherds, give you people that we need to the home market. So Sandy, you never really told us how you ended up in Woodbury. My sister and I could hold her own after she died, I had two choices. Eat a bullet and join her in the air after or just survive. Don't mind asking how she did she die. Had to kill her, she turned. Story turns over. We hear one that walks in the parking lot. Let's clear him out.
maybe same of that what? Uh wait. Maybe he has the best defense. The attack's not too bad. But so many the quick, so Maggie does seem like the best choice. Maddox is forcing me to choose it. It's excellent. I have a whole special character as well. Okay. Attack. Okay, so that just sort of goes on. I was trying to pick up for that. Some survivors came out of fight. Okay. Honestly, don't want to take them wood berry, but... Right. I don't want to do spoilers for the show, so I'm not going to say why. I mean, it could end up here. So... Sanctuary badges. Well, Sanctuary badges. Click the greater the rewards. Cool. Might as well fight now, or not. Those things seem to be easy. The people ones are my folks and my sister. Are they any more? They're just threats. Threats that need to be eliminated. I agree with that. I mean, it's kind of one of the weird things about The Walking Dead. Uh, they don't like just go out and kill the walkers. I mean, I feel like things would be easier if they just eliminated them. And I mean, if you've seen Season 9, um, if they had been killing, I don't, they don't like go out. As far as I've seen, they don't go out like killing them like I said. I mean, there are things where, like, they do go out and kill them, but that's really only like this one episode that I really saw it. Um, anyway, but it would make things, I imagine if they went out and just killed them, like regularly, like, you know, if they see a herd, they go in and kill a herd, and they have the skills to do that, and uh, depending on where you are in the series, they have the bullets to do that, and you know why. I mean, it's just going out and killing them would make things a lot simpler in season 9. I'm not going to say why, it just makes things a lot easier. Anyway, team select. Hold up, I hear something. Hello? Hello, Jim. Yeah, shit, you're back on your dead. No, don't shoot, I've got some people on the downside. We haven't seen each other and other people in, well, forever. We need food. You want to trade? I don't know, they don't seem close to our hero. What's the call? Tell them to fuck off. Well, Doesn't seem so bad. Each one still seems to be the same here. 
Did this take folks? Take that. Oh, whoa. What? Really? Said Moke jump priest enough to Mitchell's throat, draws away from AD and tosses it to the ground. Like, what the fuck? I was like trying to be like Rick and all nice and stuff. Same as highlight. Oh, I missed the first one. Oh, well. I mean, we have guns. They just have knives. Outside Woodbury, we can't just fly as it's just gonna go. Nobody else has to die today. And hey, head to trust him. Some of walkers behind the side door. Okay, oh, detect. Oh, downloading. Wasn't expecting that. What? I'll pause while this happens. I decided to talk. So, I don't understand it. That's supposed to be a rogue. He's not missing a hand. He also doesn't wear, the, wear a leather jacket. His beard is grey. His hair is grey. His hair is shorter. And his beard is more, well, it's more like a Ezekiel's. It's big and bushy. Michonne. Uh, well, she doesn't wear a burka. And. She has dreads. Really cool dreads. And her sword is not like that handle. It has like gold things. It's not oblong like that. It looks It's more circular, the handle. And, um. It's a curved blade like a katana. Relatively accurate for Negan. Although, he doesn't really stand like that. He always stands leaning back, which is weird. Also, his baseball bat doesn't have those black things on it. The spike part is real, and the circle part is. But, oval, I mean. This is downloading a lot slower than I thought it would. Unrelated news, I have a cat. Unrelated news. Like, it just showed up, and it's been with me for, like, a couple of days. It just randomly showed up while I was outside vaping, and I was like, 
what's that noise? Is it a hedgehog? And no, it was a cat. Then it came, and I was like, oh, cute cat, so I pet it. And, uh, you know, it sat with me for a bit, then it went off and did its own thing. Came out to vape. Oh, this is like just before I went to sleep. And I went out to vape again the next day. Um, cat again. And it stuck around, followed me inside, slept with me during the night on my bed. Um, we were super cute. And then hung around with me like all morning. Then eventually went off. I guess I went to the toilet. And now it's been in and out all day hanging around me. It's really cool. It's like his sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Well. I actually might end the video here. Because it's definitely taking a while. Yeah. Uh, as always, subscribe. And I will see you in a future video. Bye for now.